The number of human beings living on planet Earth continues to grow. 8 billion currently, and will reach 10 billion in 2050. And as we live our lives, educate ourselves, make a living, and travel the world, our climate is changing quickly. Our world is mobilizing. We need to reduce CO2 emissions. Fancy constructions ones, of course, but also those of all citizens in their day-to-day -day lives by allowing everyone with the use of infrastructure, buildings, and low-carbon equipment. For us, reducing CO2 emissions means, first, consuming fewer materials, as here in England, with this road that uses just half the quantity of asphalt. We're also the only company in the world to build roads using 100% recycled materials. Concrete is one of the most used construction materials in the entire world. The most efficient, the most solid, and the most economical. On our work sites, we are reducing the quantity of materials used, like right here, with a concrete floor that delivers the same performance while using less concrete. But our commitment goes further. To reduce the concrete's carbon footprint, we worked hard with our partners and designed new formulations that considerably reduce our CO2 emissions. And we are committing to using 90% of this low carbon concrete by 2030. Our structures are also made with steel. The steel inside these walls is already almost 100% recycled. Additionally, we are innovating for ways of using less amounts of steel. Like on this project, our engineers have installed special concrete walls without metal reinforcement. But tomorrow, we'll need to go further. And how? Here, for instance, we've analyzed and rethought the life cycle of this building by envisioning how it will be in 10, 20, 30, or 50 years, and how we can recycle its building material over a longer term. Everywhere we're building, we need to reduce transport costs and favor shorter circuits. We just started on this site. Thanks to two-way freight, no truck travels empty. Each truck arrives with rubble and leaves with recycled materials for the work sites. It's a perpetual resource. Construction involves soil treatment and remediation. Every year, this material recycling platform receives more than 250,000 metric tons of sediment and soil by river. It's treated and recycled thanks to innovations, such as biological treatment. But to stay green, our Blue Planet needs us to accelerate low carbon mobility initiative. That's why today, everywhere in the world, we are helping to develop public transportation, trams, buses, railway lines, and bicycling lanes. We are also participating in the energy transition, whether with today's wind turbines or tomorrow's hydrogen. Along with these buildings, we are taking part in one of Europe's biggest renewable energy projects. Inventing the future is our toughest challenge. We are devoting all our skills to developing fusion energy so that we can one day have, all of us, an energy source that's inexhaustible. We always take advantage of specific features and the potential of each region, like here in Morocco. Here, nature helps us by supplying energy. This is done by preserving water resources. And that's thanks to a new kind of electricity generation plant. And sometimes you find low carbon energy where you least expect it. Like here in this parking lot, it might look quite ordinary, but here we are capturing the sun's heat and transferring it to the surrounding buildings. So why can't the roads that enable us to travel also transmit the energy we need for our electric vehicles to operate? We're innovating and it works, like here in Germany. Take a look. It is our responsibility to gather as much energy everywhere that we can, from roads, sure, but also facades. The facades of our buildings can produce energy for our homes, our offices, even this school. It's something to consider that 25% of CO2 emissions come from the energy consumed by buildings. But taking action doesn't just stop at new buildings. For example, here we are renovating over a thousand apartments to make them energy efficient. Our new buildings comply with the most stringent standards in terms of eco-design and low consumption. 
We are also exploring alternatives using biosource materials just like this building. The structure is comprised of responsibly produced wood. Sustainable water management, and especially safe drinking water, is of great importance everywhere in the world. We are a key player in hydraulic works that preserve this valuable resource. This plant here in Benin treats the wastewater that is then used by nearby market gardens. To continue building, we also have to preserve the world's ecosystems. From our project's design phase, we avoid, reduce, and offset impact. This way, we participate in environmental renaturing and protect biodiversity. Like right here, where we're restoring ecological continuity to ensure conservation and development of fauna and flora. But it's also in the heart of cities that we're restoring nature to its rightful place, improving living conditions for all. Everywhere in the world, our culture as builders involves us in developing useful projects that support the ecological and energy transitions. So of course, looking at all this, I can say we are definitely part of the solution.